Let's practice modifying the text block of a shape. So I've started a new blank drawing here, nothing special about it, and let's just create a uh, shape to play with. So let's select the ellipse tool and just draw a nice ellipse here in the middle of the page. And well, let's just give it some, some interesting fill so we can see it. So open the fill dialog, pick a, an interesting green, maybe give it a nice pattern like this. And we'll make the center a little bit lighter so that it's easier to see. So we can actually check it before we go. Apply. Looks good. And there we go. Now we still have the ellipse tool selected. We can switch to the pointer tool if we want. It doesn't really matter. But since the shape is selected, we can just start typing. So let's put a bunch of text on here. A whole bunch of text that wraps to the next line. There we go got some text and I can just simply click away or hit the escape key to escape the text the text editing mode. Now if I select the shape you see the normal blue handles that allow me to resize and you'll notice that if you actually pause over handles little sh uh, tooltips pop up such as resize shape and if we go over the lollipop it'll tell us that this handle is for rotating the shape. To edit the text block of the shape. We go up here and in the tools group and select the text block tool and you'll see nothing happened down here. The shape handles look exactly the same but if we pause over the, each handle you'll see it says size text block and rotate text block. So what does that mean? Well watch what happens when I start pulling on these handles. Nothing happens to the ellipse. Here it says move text block so if I go over the blue dash line I can actually you'll see the crosshair cursor and you can take and move the text blocks off the shape so if you're not quite sure which uh, tool you're using first of all you can look up at the at the toolbar to see which tool you're using you can go out in the empty space and see what the cursor looks like if you have the arrow you have the pointer tool if you have this little block you have the text block tool but you can also pause over the the blue dash lines and the handles to see what's going on so if I click on the pointer tool again you'll see that the original shape handles return and all we've done is change the position of the text block within a shape. This is a little bit confusing because remember when we when we first created a shape and we switched to the text block tool the text block exactly matches the size of the shape but we can quickly uh, alter the text block to, to reveal that shape and text block are actually independent entities within a single shape. Furthermore, we can we can rotate the text of the shape. So let's just uh, click on the text block tool again, and we can rotate that over here. We'll put it up here like this. And if we want to edit this, the text of the shape, we can either click the text tool, or a lot of times double click works. We'll just double click, and you'll see that Visio allows you to edit the text in a right side up mode. So if you've rotated the text so it's upside down or something, you don't have to read it upside down. Visio presents it to you right side up. You can make a whole bunch bold and italic. Let's over over overly format it. And then we just click away and you can see that the text returns to its angled position the way we left it. So that's how you modify text of say shapes you're creating. One other thing to point out is some Visio shapes such as the network shapes. Let's go find some basic network uh, computers, computers and monitors. We'll open that up and we'll just drag one out. And you'll notice that when I type text on this computer, does anybody says, say computer anymore? I think they all say PC. You'll see when I select this with the pointer tool, this shape, there's the control handle down here that allows us to freely reposition the text. So for shapes that have this feature built in, you really don't need to go to the text block tool. And it's probably <laughs> better if you don't if you don't do it. The only thing to remember about these type of shapes is that as as you, as you type there's no line wrapping. It goes on forever. So if you need if you need multiple lines, let's put this shape down here so we can see it. If you need multiple lines of text, then you'll have to hit the return key wherever you want text to break and you might have to reposition the control handle once you've done that. Whereas this shape, 
uh, excuse me, I didn't mean to double click it, this shape, when we get the text block tool, the wrapping is controlled by the width of the text block itself. So if we want one line of text, just make it really long and then reposition the text block. If we don't mind that the text wraps a little bit, then we can just resize the text block like that. And switching back to the pointer tool reveals once again that our shape is unchanged, but its text block is changed. So there you have it. That's how you control the size and position and orientation of the text block within a shape.